Um, Black History Month is special um, to me because it's not just about awareness of Black history, it's a celebration, a celebration of centuries of Black accomplishments amidst inequality and adversity. And my favorite part is every year I get to learn about people I never heard of and their important mark on history. Um, I think some of my favorites are inventions. I just think inventions are really cool. And so I like to learn about who invented what. Um, one I just learned about this month was the clothes dryer that was invented by George Sampson in 1892, which I had not known before. There's also the ice cream scooper, golf tees, which I don't use, but my husband does, and potato chips. So I just, I just think it's cool to be able to share that, celebrate those accomplishments, and hear about it every, every year. I'm inspired by all of the stories, all of the firsts, especially um, people who broke down barriers and open the doors for millions of other people to come. I, I think that's the most inspiring thing to me is people being able to push those barriers and not be deterred by them. I remember learning in school when I was just a kid about Martin Luther King Jr. And we would read the books and watch all these movies. And I would see images of hateful people doing hateful things. And then I would li listen to these speeches from Dr. King. And he was so full of love. And I remember thinking, even as a kid, how can you have that much love in the face of so much hate? And I'm going to share my two favorite Dr. King love quotes with you. Um, the first is that love is the only force capable of transforming an enemy into a friend. And the second is that hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. So MLK taught me to love everyone, even if they didn't give me love back. And I think that's, that's that piece that was left for me in how I continue to lead my life. When I was in high school, I saw the movie Crash, and there was a lot to unpack in that movie, um, but what stuck with me to this day um, was a scene where a white woman is getting into her car and locks the doors because she sees two young Black men walking toward her. And after seeing this, I, I remember asking myself, do I do this? And I didn't like the answer. I was upset by the answer to that question. And I didn't want to be that person. And so throughout my life, I try to be aware of my biases and continue to challenge myself to do better um, because we have biases and we can't pretend like they're not there. And then there's those moments where you realize, yeah, this isn't the person that I want to be. Uh, and that was my moment. I try to always meet people where they are in the moment, um, be compassionate, empathetic, and give the benefit of the doubt whenever possible. Uh, my mom loves to tell the story from a trip that we took to DC when I was eight. Um, we were looking at the Vietnam War Memorial and all the names on the wall of those that lost their lives. And I asked her, where are the names for the people that fought on the other side? I'm always asking questions, challenging, thinking of where somebody else might be coming from. Um, and so in my work now with quality, I'm, I'm continually asking the question, how can we do better? And that's what I bring to the work at Catholic Charities. We can always do better. A cool piece of history for me is that my great, great, great grandfather actually fought for the Union in the Civil War. Um, and we have his sword, um, which I always think is is a cool piece of history and trivia and just, you know, how we're all interconnected. <laughs> 